Welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and I am so excited about today's video. I'm going to be sharing 10 wardrobe must-haves specifically for women over 40, but honestly, this wardrobe checklist could be for women of all ages because I believe that no matter what your age, you deserve to look and feel confident. So if that sounds good to you, if you would please hit that little subscribe button, I would truly appreciate it. I am very grateful for each and every one of you and I always love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for all of your kind comments. So make sure that you listen to this entire video because the last look is actually one of my favorite looks styled with probably my favorite blazer of the moment. So definitely stick around to the very last look. Also, everything that I'm talking about in today's video will be linked down below in my description box along with um, sizing information. If, and if there is ever anything on the expensive side, I will always be linking a steel version as well because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. Okay, item number one that I think is an absolute must is a beautiful camel coat. I think there is nothing more sophisticated and nothing more chic than a camel coat. You can wear them obviously in the fall and in the winter, which that is why, you know, since it is fall, that a camel coat is an absolute wardrobe essential. I love pairing them with denim. I think it's an effortless way to wear a camel coat, a little bit more of a casual vibe there. But you could certainly pair this camel coat over a midi skirt, over a dress, you know, the possibilities are endless because honestly, a camel coat is truly that versatile. This one is a, an amazing price point. It is, um, you know, a beautiful neutral camel shade. It looks way more expensive than it really is because the good news is this camel coat is very budget friendly. Obviously, you can tie it around the waist. You can wear it draped over you like I have here. You know, you can just wear it regular and have it be open. So, you know, the possibility are endless because honestly a camel coat is not only sophisticated and elegant but it's also very versatile and functional which is why I named it one of the absolute you know top 10 fall wardrobe staples that every woman should own what I styled this amazing camel coat with is this simple um, bodysuit it's actually the one that I'm wearing right now I swear by white bodysuits this one is actually from Express one of my favorite places to shop because they offer high quality pieces at affordable prices. This uh, bodysuit is sleek, it's slimming, you don't have to worry about it bunching up. It's also under $50 and literally comes in tons of colors. Then I went with these Anina Bing jeans. These are a, like a modern skinny jean, so they are high-waisted. They're more of like a slim, sort of slim cut around your legs. They're not like that super tight like jegging jean that is definitely going out of style this 2021. If you're wondering what some other trends are that are out of style or that you should ditch from your closet, make sure you check out the video that I just did, Seven Trends to Ditch in 2021. I'll link that down below as well in my description box. Okay, the next item that I think every woman needs is a going out top because now that we're all able to get out and about, I think it's important that you have a fabulous top that you feel your best in, that you feel sexy in, that you, that you feel confident in like the best version of yourself in. And cutouts are a very big trend this fall. This top is obviously got this really cool cutout up here on the chest area. So it is very age appropriate, even though it does have a cutout in it. It's also under $100, so what a great deal. It does come in off-white as well, which I think would be a beautiful color. You could top this um, look off with a blazer, which I did. This is an Anine Bing blazer. I love this blazer. It is a tweed material. It's a black and white pattern that I'm loving, and I'm especially loving these Lux gold buttons. But this is an easy top. You, again, you can wear it alone, perfect for a girl's night out or a date night, but you could also wear it underneath a blazer. And I paired it with my absolute favorite pair of jeans. These are the 90s A Gold E Pinch Waist Denim. This is definitely the hottest silhouette of denim that we're seeing in 2021, which is basically on the baggier side. But because these are high-waisted and more of a straight leg, 
they're actually still very flattering. This silhouette does come with no rips, which I will link down below as well because I understand that not everybody loves to wear ripped denim. And then these are some black pointy toe mules. Remember this, this is a little style tip I, I swear by, that wearing pointy toe shoes is going to make your legs look longer and make you look taller and slimmer. So these are a pointy toe mule. Actually, the heel height is only three inches, so these are very wearable and very comfortable. And because they are like that sort of, you know, um, lizard embossed looking skin, they're not real lizard, obviously, because the price point is actually pretty budget friendly on these heels. They're gonna look more expensive than they really are. So absolutely love these black mules. I know that I'll be wearing them a ton this fall and winter. Okay, the next item that I think every fall wardrobe needs is a classic blazer. You can never go wrong with wearing blazers. I personally wear blazers a ton. I love pairing them with dresses, with midi skirts, and, and especially with jeans, of course. And the blazer I wanna recommend for this specific edit is this blazer that looks like a Balmain blazer. However, it is a fraction of the price. And for those of you that don't know, Balmain blazers run $2,000 plus. Why? Because the fit is impeccable and they're just a very well-made, high-quality blazer. Well, this one from Lily Silk is very similar to the Balmain blazer because it's got those beautiful gold, luxe-looking buttons. It's still a very structured blazer, so it's gonna be flattering. The fit is impeccable. It cuts in at the waist just as a structured blazer should be cut. It does come in several colors. I have the gray one as well, which I love and wear very often. So if you don't already have an amazing blazer in your closet that you love and that really fits you like the way a structured blazer should fit you, I highly recommend this one. I wanted to show y'all what it looked like buttoned without anything under it. You could throw on a black camisole underneath this as well and then unbutton the blazer, even a white t-shirt, a white camisole, like whatever, you know, because the possibilities are endless because a black blazer truly is that versatile. And then I paired it with some faded black jeans. These are from Express, so they're under $100. I love denim from Express because they fit like designer denim. However, they're a fraction of the price. They are high-waisted. These, again, are more of that modern skinny jean that we're seeing so much of this fall and winter. And I'm a big fan of these jeans also because they're extremely comfortable, so they would travel really well too. And then I just went with a classic black pump. Another item that I think every wardrobe needs is a classic black pump, also a classic nude pump. And then I went with my go-to YSL suede um, college bag. I'm loving this bag so much. I recently purchased it and I'm so happy with it. It does go with a lot more than I thought it would, like being olive green. I wasn't so sure it would go with a lot of things, but it actually goes with a ton because I think you can consider olive green as a neutral shade. And if you're wondering what some other amazing designer handbags are this fall and winter, I just did a luxury handbag video that I think you'll really enjoy because I actually included the dupes to each of the luxury handbags that I'm loving right now. So I think that's what really sets that video apart and is definitely a must watch. So I will also link that down below as well. Okay, the next thing I think every woman over 40 needs in her wardrobe is a power suit. So this suit is a gorgeous chocolate brown vegan leather suit by ALC. And I am literally obsessed. I wore this suit uh, last week to the Neiman Marcus fall fashion show. And leather is definitely a trend this fall and winter, as well as chocolate brown is a big trend this fall and winter. So needless to say, this power suit is very on trend, but it's also a classic staple that's probably never gonna go out of style or not gonna go out of style for a very long time. I've worn this blazer with denim as well, and it looks fabulous with jeans, so I always love buying pieces that I can wear multiple ways. You could also wear these pants with a simple black top with a black blazer, like they're also very versatile. They're very slimming, they're high-waisted, they're sort of that flare leg, so they're gonna make your legs look like crazy long. The blazer is structured. I love the gold luxe buttons. 
And again, I'm obsessed with anything chocolate brown this fall and winter. So I was like, as soon as I laid my eyes on this chocolate brown suit, I knew I had to have it. So highly recommend this suit. It's a beautiful, it's luxe looking. And if you do work in an office, this would be a great suit you could wear to the office, but then you could also wear it out to dinner afterwards or what have you. All right, the next item that I think every woman needs is a simple denim jacket. But to be a little bit more unique instead of your average blue denim jacket, in this edit, I wanted to include this really cool gray denim jacket. This one is by Madewell. It is a bit oversized, which is very on trend for 2021. We're seeing a lot of oversized jackets and blazers. So this jacket is very on trend because it is a bit oversized. I love the gray denim. It's very versatile and again, a bit more unique than like your typical blue denim jacket. I paired it over this chocolate brown. There's that color again that we're seeing this fall and winter. It's a crop top, but since I paired it with these high waisted jeans, you can't see any of my midriff. This crop top is from Nordstrom. It's under $50. So what a great deal for such a fabulous chocolate brown, like easy, basic camisole. Um, if you don't want the crop top, I will link a chocolate brown bodysuit, which would pair really well with this look too, in case, you know, crop tops aren't your thing. I totally get that. And then these are the Black Express jeans that I talked about earlier, the high-waisted sort of modern slim jean that I'm loving right now. Again, very comfortable. You can't go wrong with a pair of black denim. In fact, I would say black denim is another wardrobe staple that every woman needs. I will also um, provide a link below to a pair of black jeans without any rips in them for those of you who don't love ripped denim. And then these are some chocolate brown mules by Vince Camuto. I talked about these a couple weeks ago in a video and I'm really loving these mules. They're very comfortable, very wearable. You guys are always messaging me about like, Heather, I love to wear heels, but I wanna wear some heels that are actually comfortable and wearable. Well, these are your answer. The heel height is only three inches. You know, they're open toe, so they're gonna be very, very wearable, very, very comfortable. I'm really loving chocolate brown, again, like I said earlier, so these mules are fabulous. And for under $100, like what a steal for such a cool pair of shoes. And actually this exact style comes in like 10 different colors. So I also have the nude, and I'm thinking about ordering the gold because they're that good. Okay, the next item that I think every woman over 40 needs is a black leather jacket. So I love leather jackets. I have a thing for leather jackets and I probably own too many if I'm being honest. But in my defense, I do wear leather jackets a ton. You can wear leather jackets with denim. You can wear leather jackets with midi skirts, with dresses. Like literally the possibilities are endless because a leather jacket can take you so many places in style and comfort. I think a leather jacket is an edgy piece. It's also classic. It's also just a basic that I think will take you a long way in your wardrobe. So the way I style this amazing leather jacket by Madewell is with this under $100 Michael stars midi dress it's very soft it's got the ruching so it's going to make you look slimmer it's also very very comfortable now back to the Madewell leather jacket I wanted to feature this particular real leather jacket in this edit because it is a great price point for a real leather jacket Typically, a real leather jacket can run you anywhere from $500 all the way up to $2,000. This one is, five, is around $495, if I'm not mistaken. So it is actually a really great price for such a high quality real leather jacket. The leather is buttery soft. I love the simple hardware. The fit is impeccable. It's just an easy jacket. It's a timeless jacket. It's a versatile jacket. I promise you'll get your cost per wear out of it. I know that I honestly live in my leather jacket and I couldn't live without them. So love this Madewell leather jacket. Now, if this one is out of your price point, I will link my favorite under $100 black leather jacket, which is by Blank NYC. It looks very similar, but it's obviously faux leather, making it under $100. So I will be sure and link that one down below as well. Okay, the next wardrobe staple I think every woman needs over 40, but really any age, is a wearable heel. So I sort of touched on this earlier, but my favorite wearable heels of the moment are those Vince Camuto chocolate brown mules. They do come in black as well. Again, they also come in nude, they come in gold, they come in silver, they come in like 10 colors. They kind of remind me of the Bottega mules, but again, instead of being like I don't know, $1,000, they're literally under $100, so what a steal. I have them in the chocolate brown, I have them in nude. 
because they're that good and I honestly wear them a ton. So cannot recommend these enough. I think they would fit seamlessly into your fall and winter wardrobe. Another pair of mules that I'm loving are the mules I had on with that Madewell black leather jacket and the gray Michael Stars midi dress. These are by Steve Madden. The heel height is under three inches, so they're very wearable, very comfortable. These also come in nude as well. And I love the open toe, you know, comfortable mule style. I love these with dresses, but you can also pair them with denim or even midi skirts and you will just look fabulous. I am going to be doing a fall boot edit coming up so let me know if that sounds like a good video that you would like to watch because I have been getting some messages from you guys about some fall boots. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Okay, the next item that every woman needs is a pair of flattering jeans. So maybe you just have like at least one pair of denim that you really love and that really flatters your figure, but most importantly that you really feel good in. I always say get dressed based on how you feel, based on your mood, based on your intuition, like what feels good when you put it on, what makes you feel like the most you know, confident in the best version of yourself and whatever that is, that is what you should wear most often. For me, it is denim. I don't know why, I just love wearing jeans. I feel like I look good in denim. But regardless of that, I think every wardrobe obviously needs a good pair of jeans in it because you can wear jeans so many different places with so many different things. So my personal favorite jeans of the moment are these A Gold E 90s pinch waist jeans. I touched on them earlier. I had them on with that black cutout top I talked about uh, as a going out top. I love these jeans because they're high waisted. I love this wash because it's like a medium wash. You can honestly wear it all year round. I love ripped denim and I don't think these are too ripped, so I think they're perfectly distressed. For me, personally, again, I love wearing ripped jeans because I do feel confident in them and like the best version of myself. But again, they do come in a non-ripped version, which I will link as well. These are straight leg, and again, because they're high-waisted, they're gonna do a great job of making you look taller and slimmer. Now, what I would suggest doing is ordering a couple different pairs of denim, trying them on, and then deciding which ones you love the best. And then those are the ones that you would wanna keep in this sort of 10-piece capsule wardrobe and wear on repeat because these jeans are definitely the ones I wear the most. I reach for them the most. I wear them the most. And I think it's because I just feel my best when I wear these jeans. Now I did go out of my comfort zone a little bit because I paired this chocolate brown blazer by Lamarck, which is amazing by the way. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's the coolest sort of oversized blazer. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna talk about it more in a second, but I actually paired it over this jockey bra. This is a really cool sort of bralette. I just did a collaboration with Jockey and wore this bra. It's gonna be on my Instagram feed on Saturday, so you can check that out. This is like the most comfortable bra I've ever put on. It's got some really cool detailing um, that you really can't see in the photo, but the big trend right now is bra tops with oversized blazers. And although I wasn't sure if I was up for this trend, I thought I would try it because, because you know what? Fashion should be fun, and I think it's all about stepping out of your comfort zone, even if it's just a little bit. So for me, I would obviously only wear this look like to a fashion event on a date night or a girl's night out. I was comfortable wearing it because the blazer is so oversized and I did pair a crossbody bag with it, which really allowed the blazer to stay sort of closed. So I honestly wasn't even showing that much skin. I was just showing a sliver of my midriff and honestly, I was comfortable doing that. If you're not comfortable doing that, no worries. Just swap out the black jockey bra for a simple black bodysuit and you could emulate this look exactly. Okay, the next item every wardrobe needs is a white t-shirt or a white bodysuit. So the t-shirts that I'm gonna recommend, one, the v my favorite all-time white tee is the ATM V-neck white tee. This also comes in a crew neck version in case you don't love V-necks, but I personally love V-neck t-shirts as opposed to the crew neck, why? Because they're going to elongate your top portion of your body, making you look taller and slimmer because they sort of just go down and showing off your chest area and your decollete, which honestly, no matter what your size, is gonna be a flattering part of any woman's body. But the ATM tees, they're super soft. I have it in black, I have it in white, I have it in gray. So it's just a great t-shirt, it's high quality. 
it's still under $100. If you didn't want to spend the $85 that the ATM tee is, I recommend the Madewell V-neck tee, which is going to come in at around $19. But you can pair this tee underneath the jean jacket, the leather jacket, any of the blazers. So a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt is definitely a wardrobe essential that every woman needs. Also, if you didn't want to go with a t-shirt, my other favorite thing to wear under jackets are body suits. And my favorite body suits are from Express. They have short sleeve and they have sleeveless. The one I'm wearing right now is a white short sleeved bodysuit. I pair it underneath jackets literally all the time. It's very comfortable. The reason I love bodysuits is because they don't come untucked. There's no bunching going on around the waistline, so they're not gonna add any bulk to your outfits. They're always gonna look sleek, put together, and just very polished. And they're under $50, so like what a great deal for such a great wardrobe basic. So I styled the white bodysuit with this fun Balenciaga baseball hat. So that's another trend we're seeing in fall and winter. It's just like a baseball hat you'd think would only go with like workout clothes, but it's kind of very on trend and very fashion forward to pair like a really cool baseball hat with a blazer and a pair of jeans. I think this is just a very easy, casual, laid back look. I did the Express Mom jeans that I'm really loving right now. Super comfortable, high-waisted, more of that like tapered modern skinny jean. So love this look. I did my Steve Madden under $100 mules and then my neutral YSL college bag. And actually the blazer that I'm wearing in this look is one of my favorite blazers. It's a faux leather black blazer. It is a bit oversized, but it's not like too oversized. I absolutely love this blazer. It looks like real leather. It feels like real leather, but because it is faux leather, it is a fraction of the price of what a real leather blazer would cost you. So this blazer is definitely gonna be on high rotation this fall and winter for me. And I'm sure if you decide to grab this blazer for yourself, it will be for you too. Okay, the last look, the one we've all been waiting for, and it is paired with my favorite blazer, but the actual item that is the wardrobe staple that I think every woman needs is a black midi skirt. This is a black midi skirt. It is knit material. It is under $100. I love the slit on the side. It's high-waisted, so it's very slimming. And honestly, a midi skirt or a midi dress is the most flattering for all ages. Why? Because it hits below the knee. And I think our, our knees, at least my knees, have sort of aged faster than maybe any other part of my body. I kind of had those wrinkles on my knees for a while. But I did do a really cool um, treatment to my knees. I'm going to do an entire video on some treatments that I've had from an amazing plastic surgeon here in Dallas. So I will do that video soon so stay tuned for that but I absolutely love this midi skirt you can wear this midi skirt with any of the jackets from this edit as well it's very versatile very wearable wear it to the office wear it on a date night wear it casual with sneakers and a simple white t-shirt on the weekends like the possibilities are endless because a black midi skirt is such a versatile and wearable piece it did come with the matching um, black knit cami, which I paired it with. It is cropped, but because the mini skirt is so high-waisted, you don't see any of my skin. Now, let's get to my favorite piece of this edit, which is what I'm wearing right now, this beautiful chocolate brown blazer. Um, this is by Lamarck. I am obsessed with this blazer because of the color and because of the really cool sort of fashion forward oversized fit. It does have shoulder pads. The leather is, is buttery soft. Um, again, it is a bit oversized. It does come in black as well. So if chocolate brown isn't your thing, you could certainly order this blazer in black. It would go a long way in your wardrobe as well. I love pairing black and brown together. That's actually a style rule that I think you can break because I have heard that before, like, oh, you never want to pair brown and black together. But I beg to differ. I think it's actually very chic, very polished, and very luxe looking when you pair chocolate brown and black together, which is exactly why I paired this beautiful oversized chocolate brown leather blazer over this all black ensemble. So those were the 10 pieces that I think every woman's wardrobe needs. Um, please let me know what your favorite piece was because I always love hearing from you guys. For more style information, you can head over to SewHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SewHeatherBlog. Hope you guys have a beautiful day and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.